we are talking about national cultures and in this particular topic we are going to discuss interpersonal trust as a national culture dimension trust is something which you give to somebody when you are confident about the person who you are trusting uh this tendency to trust someone that also comes from the background that you come from and the culture that you belong to there are some cultures in which there is a general tendency for people not trusting others because there is a general understanding that people are not trustworthy they are dishonest they are going to betray you they are going to do something behind your back and that kind of a mindset it prevails culturally it's not that people are uh, good or bad in a particular culture uh, it's just that the culture of a place of a society of a nationality it has that it has developed that kind of mindset over uh, centuries and over decades uh, that leads to such kind of mindset that people in some cultures are ready to trust each other and in some they are not ready to do so very easily so um in cultures where people are ready to trust each other then in organizations as well managers are willing to share their power and authority with their subordinates when they can trust and uh, what they can trust actually in organizations it's not just that you can trust their intentions but also you need to trust their ability so uh, a manager can trust his or her employee on two dimensions one is that the person has got the ability to do, to do the task agar manager ko ye lagta hoga ke uh, jo subordinate hai wo kaam nahi kar sakta ya usme ability hi nahi hai to aisi situation mein the manager will not be able to trust the employee with the work that needs to be done and then the manager will have to uh, uh, supervise the employee continuously and then the second thing is very important and that is intentions that whether the employee has got the right kind of intentions wo dishonesty to nahi karega uski intentions to kharab nahi hai uski niyat to kharab nahi hai so uh, these are the two dimensions if they are present then the manager will be ready to trust the employee so are they capable uh, capable of making decisions on their own if they think if they trust then they will let the employee take decisions do they have sufficient knowledge about the task at hand that is also important and will they put the company's interest before their own that is something very important that is something which is related to the intentions ke unko apna fayda sochne wo apna fayda sochenge ya wo company ka fayda sochenge agar wo apna fayda sochenge aur company ka fayda jo hai wo bypass hota hai ya uh, usko neglect karte hain to that means that their intentions are not right so these three aspects if they are there then the managers will be ready to trust the employees in some cultures uh, people have uh, low levels of trust on their employees and in some cultures the level of trust is high on what reasons and what uh factors it is dependent that the level of trust will be high or low number one is corruption and on the other hand transparency in some cultures there is culture of corruption for example pakistan is higher in the corruption index and low in the transparency index whereas on the other hand the developed countries for example the uk it is higher on the transparency index and low on the corruption index so logon ko ye ek general trust की फीलिंग होती है कि लोग करप्शन नहीं करेंगे ऐसे कल्चर्स के अंदर वेर एज पाकिस्तान में अगर एम्प्लॉय ने ना भी करप्शन करनी हो तो ये एक्सपेक्ट कर लिया जाता है या ये एज्यूम कर लिया जाता है कि लोग करप्शन करने की उनके अंदर टेंडेंसी मौजूद है और अगर उनको मौका मिलेगा तो वो करेंगे सो दैट इज वन एस्पेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ विच देर इज ट्रस्ट इन पीपल एंड मिस इन सम कल्चर्स 
then there is second thing which is an important factor is a general um, you know um, view of general uh, view of honesty uh, in some cultures people generally are honest they do not lie to each other they do not give a sense of equivocation they do not hide the facts they do not try to trick others and fool others whereas in some cultures unfortunately that kind of situation prevails that some cultures they have a lot of general dishonesty problems for example if you go to egypt uh, uh, tourism ke liye khaas taur pe logon ko kaha jata hai ki aap apne bags sambhal ke rakhein aap apne jo qeemti ashya hain unko sambhal ke rakhein kyunki wahan pe log aapko bahut zyada trick karte hain bahut zyada jo hai wo theft bahut zyada hota hai aur people are extremely dishonest in egyptian culture particularly in the cairo city so uh, there are certain cultures which are considered to be high in this general dishonesty dimension and uh, there are certain cultures which are generally honest uh then the third thing is availability of skill and uh, of skill and abilities so um uh, particularly from the aspect of the organization and human resource management the level of trust will be high uh, if there is high availability of skill and abilities because then the manager would know that yes the person uh, the employee uh, is able to conduct his own work and able to make his own decisions and does not need supervision wo kaam kharab nahi kar dega so there is if there is availability of skill and abilities then people they will not and that also contributes towards trust because jab aapko apna kaam karna aata ho to aapko ye zarurat nahi hoti ki aap koi tede mede tarike se kaam kare aap koi shortcut le ya aap koi kisi tarah se usko bypass karne ki koshish kare so agar aapko kaam karna aata ho to ye ek general नेचर है लोगों की कि आप काम करने में यू यू वुड प्रेफर टू डू द वर्क राधर देन मेकिंग शॉर्टकट्स एंड देन फाइनली द फोर्थ एस्पेक्ट व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन डिटर्मिनिंग द लेवल ऑफ ट्रस्ट इज द लेवल ऑफ वर्क एथिक इन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो सम कल्चर्स दे हैव uh high work ethic and some cultures have got low work ethic work ethic means that people are professional people are regular they uh, they uh, complete their tasks without supervision uh, they are ethical about their behaviors they are not dishonest and uh, all the aspects of being ethical in uh, the organization and then there are some cultures which are low in work ethic so people are unprofessional they do not come come uh, to offices on time they are not regular they are not punctual they are not fulfilling the requirements even if they have the ability wo kehte hain chodo kya karna hai kaam karke so kaam karenge to aur responsibility milegi so these kind of things prevail in a low work ethic culture so according to that if a low work ethic culture is there then definitely the managers cannot uh, put in a lot of trust in the employees and the subordinates so uh, the interpersonal trust dimension of national culture is something which translates into the organizational culture and then it affects the various different dimensions of how you can manage people in a particular organization